What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial for my glasses wearers out there. If you're not aware, I am a glasses wearer. <laughs> I wear glasses every single day of my life. The only time I do not wear my glasses is when I'm filming. I've been wearing glasses since I was seven years old. So I feel like I have sort of like mastered the makeup for glasses look just because I've been wearing them my whole entire life. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all my tips and tricks today and I really hope that you like it. If you are a glasses wearer, let me know if you have any tips down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you like to be part of the fam, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So to be really honest with you, there's not like a huge difference um, in like the way that I apply my makeup when I'm wearing my glasses than when I'm not wearing my glasses. But I do do a few things that really do make a difference, I feel like, in the end. Because for me, when I wear my glasses, I like to make sure that my eyes stay nice and like open. I don't want my eyes to look closed in because sometimes glasses can make your eyes just look a little bit smaller. And I also want to make sure that the foundation around my nose does not lift away because it is the most annoying thing when you take off your glasses, whether it's glasses that you use to like see or your sunglasses and you have these like two indents on your nose. I literally have what I feel like to be permanent indents on my nose. Like these red marks almost never go away and I feel like it's just because I always wear glasses. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how I like to stop that from happening as much as possible. I also wanna say that it's sort of impossible, honestly, not to get any makeup transfer on your glasses, like no matter what you do, because when you put your glasses on your nose, it's gonna create heat, it's gonna create friction, and that's just gonna lift makeup naturally, no matter what type of technique you do use. But there are ways to sort of like minimize the damage. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do for that. So first things first, I'm just gonna prime my skin with a normal primer. I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, and this is just a really nice, very simple hydrating primer. And I'm gonna apply this all over my face, except for like the bridge of my nose. So I'm even putting it on the tip, but I'm skipping the bridge. So this next step is like a key, a key step in this whole entire routine, and that is to apply eyeshadow primer on the bridge of your nose where your glasses like hit your nose. One of you guys actually did recommend this to me in like a comment section of one of my videos where I was complaining about um, having makeup transfer onto my glasses, and I have tried that trick, and I swear it does actually make a difference. Again, it doesn't stop it from completely transferring, but it does really, really help. So I would definitely recommend using a waterproof eyeshadow primer. Today I'm gonna be using my NYX Proof It waterproof eyeshadow primer. This is really great because it is also affordable and it's clear, it doesn't have any tint to it, which I think is key to this trick as well. You don't wanna go in with like a heavy tinted primer because you don't wanna have like product build up. So I'm going to just apply some of this primer around my nose area. It's just a little bit more like sticky and heavy duty than your typical face primer. So now I'm gonna move on to my foundation. Today I'm gonna to be using my Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. If you are concerned with foundation transfer, then I would recommend not using a foundation that has a lot of dew to it, a lot of slip to it, because that is obviously just gonna be more susceptible to like moving around. That doesn't mean that you can't use a dewy foundation. I just wouldn't use something that's too emollient. So something like the It Cosmetics CC Cream, that's a very emollient, very dewy foundation. When I wear that foundation, foundation with my glasses. I'm gonna get like transfer no matter what. I like to use something sort of in the middle and this Cover FX one I find sits right in the middle of being dewy but it doesn't like slip and slide around on my face. So I'm using the shade G20 and I'm just going to buff this in with a foundation brush. And then you just wanna apply your foundation as you normally would. Nothing crazy or fancy here. Something else that I would also keep in mind is not to apply too much product in the places that you don't want your foundation to transfer. So obviously if it's on the nose bridge area, you don't wanna like pile on a ton of foundation because the more product you have on your face and the thicker the layer, it's just gonna be inevitable that it's going to come off your face. <laughs> so now moving on to concealer. Now I would recommend using something that is just a little bit more long wearing than your typical concealer. So the two that I would recommend is Shape Tape as well as the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Both of these I find really do set down very nicely on the skin and move very little throughout the day. Now, when I wear my glasses, I do really like my under eyes to look nice and bright because like I said, um, I like to make sure that my eyes still look really nice and open even though I have frames around them. So by using a lighter concealer, it's obviously going to help to open up the eyes. Now, you don't wanna use something like too crazy light that you look like really stark underneath the eyes, but about a half to one shade lighter than your skin tone works perfectly. 
So I'm taking Light Sand from Tarte. Definitely making sure to hit that inner corner of my eye. A lot of people tend to forget about that little corner, little crevice of the eye, and there's usually a little bit of darkness there. So it's always nice to brighten that up with some concealer. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my sponge. I'm also taking some of the concealer, whatever's left over on my sponge. I'm not putting like concealer directly onto my eyelid because I don't want to build up product there. Just to cancel any redness or veins that's going on in my eyes. If you don't plan on wearing eyeshadow, doing this trick with your concealer is another great way of just really brightening up your eyes. And it's also going to act double duty as an eyeshadow primer if you do decide to put eyeshadow there. So now that the base is down, it is time to uh, powder. So I'm going to take a loose powder. I'm going back to an oldie but a goodie. This is my RCMA no color powder. And we are basically going to apply a thickish layer of powder around that nose area. By baking in that area, it's going to set down the makeup, get rid of any tackiness, and it's really going to just add almost like another layer of insurance <laughs> on top of that nose bridge so that you get as little transfer as possible. So I'm taking a nice amount of powder on the tip of my sponge and I'm just like dabbing this <laughs> across my nose. While I'm here, I'm just going to use this to set underneath my eyes. I don't necessarily need or want to bake underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to press that powder in there. So I'm just going to let this bake sit for like 30 seconds, however long you want. You could like go ahead and do your bronzer at this point just to like really let that settle into the skin. Um, and then we will move back to it and brush it off. And then the nose area will be completely locked and loaded. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and wipe off this bake. So now that we've really taken care of the nose situation, it is time to move on to the eyes and focusing on making the eyes look really big and bright and just as open as possible. And I'm going to take today this ColourPop palette. It's called You Had Me At Hello. You could literally take anything that you have in your collection. It does not have to be this at all. I'm taking very basic shades today. So just to sort of give you guys an outline of what I'm gonna do to the eyes, I'm gonna first put an eyeshadow right above my crease in this area, sort of cheating my crease a little bit. So I'm not even putting it directly into my crease just a little bit above and by cheating the crease is just gonna give the illusion of like a wider bigger looking eye which is what we're going for and I'm also gonna put a little bit of that shadow underneath my lower lash line as well I find that it makes the biggest difference in making your eyes look bigger and just like more put together and balanced. And then the last step is going to be putting a shimmery eyeshadow all over the lid. And a shimmery eyeshadow is always a great trick to use to just brighten up the eye and draw attention to it. So I'm going to go into this shade right over here. It's like a medium rosy brown. And I'm going to go ahead and just start buffing this right above that crease where the transition shade goes. That is pigmented. Jeez, I did not expect that. I've never used this palette before. Okay, I'm also going to sort of like flick the eyeshadow on the outer corner of the eye. And this is just gonna help to elongate the eye a little bit as well. So that took like two seconds. Now I'm just going to take another brush and I'm going to just sweep this onto my lower lash line and make sure to connect it right on that outer corner as well. Just add a little bit of shadow there. So the next step is going in and applying a lid shade. And I always like to apply a really bright and light lid shade to really open up my eyes. So I'm gonna take, hmm. You know what, I think I'm gonna take this one. It's the lightest shade in the palette. It's this beautiful like frosty champagne pink. Oh my God, this is so pretty. And I'm also gonna pop that on the inner corner of my eye. Definitely recommend doing this. This is a very well-known trick in making your eyes just look a little bit more open. So I'm just putting that color right there. This is like the prettiest highlight shade. Next up is completely optional, but it's something that I like to do when I really do want to make my eyes stand out, and that is applying a winged eyeliner. Something else that I always, always, always like to do for my liquid eyeliner, I never bring it all the way towards the inner corner of my eye. I will only start my eyeliner halfway across my lash line. Again, I just find it's a great way in keeping your eyes really nice and open and bright. So I'm only gonna start about halfway, and I'm first creating like a straight line across my lash line like that, and then I'm gonna start to create the wing by creating a line. And then I'm gonna make a line from the point of that line that I just created back down towards the lash line. 
wings are now on they are definitely not looking perfect but they are looking similar enough which is where i usually like to leave it so now it's time to apply a mascara now for my little mascara trick it's not really a trick it's just a suggestion <laughs> using an eyelash curler to really lift up your eyelashes is another great way in making your eyes look nice and open i'm going to take my shoe mirror lash curler which is my favorite lash curler that i've ever tried and for my mascara today i'm going to use the essence lash princess this is the false lash effect mascara and I'm going to just apply a few coats on my upper as well as my lower lashes. The eyes are done, now it's time to move on to the brows. The brows are another really important step when you are wearing glasses because not only do your brows frame your eyes, but they also frame your frame. So it is of course important to make sure that they are just nicely defined. So you do wanna put in a little bit of extra time into your brows even though it's the most tedious task ever. So I'm taking my Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylist Pencil and Gel and I'm using the shade Blonde, I believe. Yes. Dirty blonde, sorry. And I'm just going to quickly, but precisely, fill in my brows. And what's really nice about this brow pencil, by the way, is the fact that there is a brow gel on the other end of it, which is just like super convenient. So I'm just gonna make sure to set my brows and I'm really like lifting up the brow hairs to make them look really nice and feathery. So now I'm just gonna bronze up my face with my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This bronzer, by the way, smells exactly like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It has that same like coconutty tropical scent. It's so, so delicious. So now as for blush, I'm gonna take my Wen Wild Blush, one of my favorite shades, Apricot in the middle. This is such a pretty color. So the one thing that I like to do with my blush when I am wearing my glasses is not putting my blush directly right in the front of the apples of my cheeks and more so concentrating it on like my cheekbone area, sort of like on the side over here. I find because my glasses personally are a little bit more round, it does really draw attention to like my cheek area and I find sometimes it makes my cheeks look a lot like rounder or bigger than they are so instead I like to really concentrate the blush on the sides so that I don't emphasize them even more and this is also a nice like peachy color it's not too rosy so it's not gonna be like a super pink blush I'm just gonna give a nice color to the cheeks we are almost done. Now I'm just gonna apply a highlighter. This is my ColourPop uh, Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Whipped. I'm not sure if they still sell this one. I got this a pretty long time ago. This is really irrelevant to the tutorial, to be honest with you. So now moving on to the lips. Now a lot of people say, and I do agree with this statement, that wearing a bold lip is very like flattering, especially when you are wearing glasses. It can sometimes take the attention away from the glasses and onto your lips. For me personally, I'm not too concerned with like taking attention away from my glasses because I mean, they're on my face. You're good to notice them and I like my glasses I enjoy wearing them on a day-to-day -day basis I don't wear bold lips I wear more natural lips so I'm just gonna keep it real with you guys I'm gonna show you what I like to wear on a more everyday basis and what I like to do I like to keep it a little bit more fresh so I will take a lip liner and then I will layer a gloss over the liner so today I'm gonna use the bite liner in number 10 I'm filling in my lips slightly with this as well and going over that with a gloss I'm using my Fenty gloss this is the gloss bomb a classic so nice. Ooh. Ooh. Now everybody, it is time to put the cherry on top of the sundae. The glasses are going on the face. These are my glasses. They now have setting powder all over them. I got these glasses from a store called Bon Look. They're in the style brace. And I really like them because they're gold and they're very like thin. I find that they make like a statement on my face, but they're not like overpowering at all. And I really just like the shape. I prefer like the rounder shape at the moment. So here is what my makeup looks like with my glasses on my actual face. You know what? I'm also gonna show you guys what the makeup will look like with more of like a thicker frame glasses. Let me go get my other pair. Hold please. So here is what the makeup look looks like with the glasses that have a thicker frame. Let me know which ones that you guys prefer in the comments. I just took the glasses off and there is no transfer on the nose. A++. So guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.